If you enter bills from your vendors in QuickBooks and one of your vendors gives you a credit towards a future bill, how do you enter that vendor credit in QuickBooks Online? So once you're logged in, you're gonna to go to the top left of your screen and click on the plus new icon. And here under vendors, we're gonna select vendor credit. Now here we'll enter our vendor's name. So in this case, PG&E. We'll then enter the credit memo's date and the reference number for this credit. Now, if the credit memo doesn't have a reference number, you can add CR dash the original invoice number for easier tracking. So if the original invoice number was 1010, then you'd enter CR dash 1010 here in this reference number field. Now down here, we'll wanna make sure we use the exact same expense account or the exact product or service line that was used for the original purchase. So in this case, we need to enter this under the category section as gas and electric. Then you can put a description of this credit here. So we're gonna put credit for overcharge. And then we're gonna enter the credit amount. So in this case, $25. And if you want, you can also attach supporting documents here at the bottom, and then you'll click save and close. And as you can see from the pop-up here at the top, our vendor credit has been saved. If you're tired of searching on YouTube for how to use QuickBooks just to get your bookkeeping done for your business, we can help. How would it feel to have all of that time back that you spend on keeping up the books for your business? Have that time back to spend on the money-making activities of your business or even use that time to go on a vacation or spend it with your family? If this is something that sounds inviting to you, my name is Melinda and I'm a QuickBooks Online Certified Pro Advisor and owner of 406 Bookkeeping Services, LLC. Check out the link in the description of this video and let's see if our services are the right fit for your business. Now, if you wanna see how to find vendor credits in QuickBooks that you've already entered, check out this video. Or if you wanna see how to apply a credit to your next bill from that vendor, then check out this next video and I'll show you how to do exactly that.